Hello. Hi, my name's Aaron. Um, guitar tutorial, another one. Um, this is a classic uh, Neil Young poster over there. There. Uh, the needle and the damage done. Um, probably, definitely one of my favorite songs. Um, just a really simple, beautiful, I call every song simple. There's probably something there. I'm not going to dive into that right now. But yeah, this song is great. Um, a really meaningful song. Um, beautiful song. Uh, it's all over one kind of riffy, it's not really riffy, just one very Neil Youngy section. Neil Young does some really cool, um, always has really cool guitar work. Um, and I think simple is a good word for it, but also uh, intricate and nuanced in a way that makes it interesting and not just like super, you know, four chords chummy stuff. Uh, he, he mixes it up, spices it up a little bit. So. Young uses a pick in this song, I believe. Which um, does definitely give it that more, a uh, little more percussive sound, a little bit louder. Um, if you're good with the pick, use it. Use one. Um, if you want to stay true to the Neil Young way. I think it sounds really pretty finger-picked, though. Um, and um, I think uh, kind of the way the song goes, it does lend itself to finger picking a little bit. Um, Neil Young was just never much of a finger picker if I can really you know, think of his songs. He used to pick a lot, so. Um, I'm gonna use my hands though, just to kind of show you. And um, excuse me, that'll be easier for me to uh, go through. So, song starts with a D chord. Just a normal D, your milk toast first D chord you ever learn and then from there you're just gonna pull off and there I'll go ahead and show you what a D chord fret how to fret a D chord uh, your pointer fingers on the second fret of your uh, G string your ring finger yes is on the third fret of your D string and we're in standard here this is just standard tuning and your middle fingers on the second fret of your E string and uh, a D chord is only the top four strings you don't want your E or your A string ringing out in there. You can. One good substitute for, uh, like if you want a, a more full D chord, you can um, put your F sharp, um, which is the the third of the chord in the bass. And a lot of people kind of do that. We'll use like a D over F sharp to uh, make like a more full D chord. But there is a certain sound to that. And um, um, he doesn't use that in this song. That's just kind of like a little aside tidbit thing. So first thing you're going to do, fret a D chord, hit your bass note, and then hit your top two strings. And if you're using a pick, I'm sure you're probably hitting all three. So, but you want to make sure you hit your bass note first. And then you just pull off your middle finger. So you're hitting your open E. And then kind of arpeggiate those bottom two strings a little bit. Uh, finger that you pulled off, your middle finger is going to come up here to the third fret. Your pointer finger is going to pull uh, pull off to make your G string open, and then your uh, your ring finger is staying planted on that D string. And then you're kind of walking down the bass. So there, you got your middle finger on the third fret of your A string, and your or no, yeah, your middle finger on the third fret of your A string, and your ring finger is on the third fret of your D string. Take your pointer finger down to the second fret of your A string, and then down one more to the first fret of your A string. For using a pick, I'll just pick up a pick. Uh, 
and essentially you're just hitting your like your high your higher notes and alternating between your bottom three strings and your two top bass strings so your C and your D um, and are like your bass notes your C is where your middle finger is on the third fret of your A string that's why I like to use my fingers so you can kind of arpeggiate I can arpeggiate like a little more readily a little easily easier easier at whatever notes you want. You know, experiment with it. And from there, you're going to hammer on uh, your second fret of your A string, and then hit your D string right after that. So, kind of going from... And then to the third fret of your A string. Oops. finger down at the first fret of your B string. It's kind of like a C chord, but you don't have your middle finger down yet. You're going to hammer on that in a second. So, And you hammer on the second fret. And in this section, you're just hitting these top two strings, like where your pointer finger is on your um, the first fret of your B string and the, the open E string. And you're just kind of alternating between those two strings and like a walking bass line. Hammer onto the second fret of your D string. An open G string. Second fret G string. Third fret G string. Second fret back to second fret D string. Third fret D string. Wait, let me do that. No, open G string first. And then third fret. String. So, hammer on, open G string, second fret G string, third fret G string, back to second fret D string, open G string, third fret D string. So you're kind of doing like a walking bass line over these drone strings. Hammer on to the second fret of your A D string. I'm sorry. Then you can just hit your open string open, and then your middle finger is coming down to the second fret of your G string. Uh, then your pinky plants down on the third fret of your G string back to the second fret of your G string open G string and then uh, your pinky is going to plant up here at the third fret of your D string to kind of so I'll play that to the second fret of your G string and then your top two strings which are you're, again you're just going to alternate uh, between those and your bass notes and those are open so your open E and your open B you hammer on to the second fret of your G string and you're kind of doing a hammer on walk down you're basically and they're all on the second fret so second fret G string second fret D string second fret A string and then open E string. And hammer on to the second fret of your A string. Second fret A string. Slide it and then you do like this little slide. So here, let me do that section and then I'll uh, show you the last part of the section. part of that section here after you do your hammer-ons. You're going to hammer on 2nd fret A string, then open D string, and then like a slide from your 2nd fret of your D string to the 4th fret, oops, back to the 2nd fret, open, so. And then that 
that's the whole riff. Then you go back to your D chord. So I'll do that last section there. And back to your open D, your D chord. It's not really, I mean, it's got some riff qualities. It's got some chordal qualities. It's just like a good guitar part, and that's what Neil Young, I think, is best at, is making these, like, these very good guitar parts. I mean, I don't even know how else to describe them other than that. They're just, you know, they're well-made. And he's an excellent songwriter. Excellent song. Excellent song for right now. It was an excellent song back in the 60s, 70s, whenever it was written. Um, that poster right there that's about the age Neil Young was when he wrote that song I think that's actually a a um a picture of him touring his Harvest album which possibly unpopular opinion I don't think so um his Harvest album is probably his best album actually that's probably the popular opinion because after that Neil Young went in some very interesting directions as far as making albums go um one of my favorite uh well not my favorite <laughs> one of but an interesting album of his is I think he has a son who um, who is uh, handicapped in some way and has to be in a wheelchair and um, so he made this electronic album for him and uh, it's interesting give it a listen um, it's yeah that's all I'll say about that but Neil Young's a great guy um, really cool story um, very very good songwriter one of my favorites probably in the top five if somebody asked me the question like who's your favorite songwriter neil young definitely pops into mind um i don't have to think about it um he's he's one of the ones that just kind of pops in there but yeah neil and the damage done beautiful song uh classic and uh has a little guitar part whole thing sing over that one little part um four verses short little song but yeah, if you uh, hope this helps, um, questions, concerns, criticisms, leave them down in the comments. Um, I think that's it. Thanks. Have a good one.